Hello, my name's Jordan and I run Our Kindy Folk. I've been very kindly asked by Sam from Explore Your Senses to look at and review some of her products. Today I'm going to be looking at the Let's Move Ready to Learn kit. Let's have a look inside. First of all, it contains this amazing set of alphabet bean bags, each with the capital letter and the little letter on, all in lovely bright colours. There are so many fun games you can play with these and your children won't even realise they're learning. One simple one is to get a bucket or a washing up bowl and take turns throwing a bean bag into the bucket. When you get it into the bucket, you name the letter and you make the sound. Z. Z. Not only will your children practise the hand-eye coordination skills of getting the bean bag into the bucket, you will also be modelling to them the names of the letters and the sounds they make and gradually they will learn that too. It doesn't have to just be about the letters though. You could start with naming the colours of the bean bags. Or if you have different age children at home, maybe your early learner is naming the colours, or even just saying, ready, steady, go, and then your older children are naming the letters. Or even can spell out words, throwing three bags into the bucket. B, E, D, bed. Great family fun. Your children will just think they're playing a game together and having an enriching experience whilst you know there's a lot more skills learnt that they don't even realise. We have an air cushion, spiky on one side and bobbled on the other. These are great for helping fidgety children to sit and concentrate for longer periods of time. You can place it on their chair or on the floor and it means they're getting the sensory feedback they need which makes them less fidgety and helps them to sit down for longer. Your child can decide whether they like the bobbly side or the spiky side best. Next up, we have some mini movers skill cards. I would use these before any sit down learning activity to help them get all their fidgets out so they're ready to learn and concentrate. These are a collection of movement cards to encourage children to move in different ways. On the front is a lovely illustration simple to understand for the children and on the back is instructions for the adult and activity ideas. On the back it also explains the importance of each skill. There are also some animal cards included. Can you hop like a rabbit? And on the back of these cards are numbers. Can you hop seven times like a rabbit? Hop, 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 hop. These can be used in so many different ways. Your children can even use them to lead their own sessions with you. I always find that helps motivate them to join in. I bet your child has some great ideas on how to use these in a game. There are two blindfolds included. Sometimes it can be really hard to negotiate your body and use your gross motor skills without eyesight. This can be a brilliant team building skill. Trusting each other to guide each other safely around the space. You could also use these in other learning opportunities too, like science. Can you feel different textures in the tray? Can you find something spiky? Can you find something smooth? You could do a little smell test in the kitchen. Have an array of foods in front of them. Let them have a taste or a sniff without seeing because they've got their blindfold on. Can you guess what it is? A brilliant way of adding some sensory fun to your learning. There are also these two balance ball sets. This is great practice for hand-eye coordination. You could use it like an egg and spoon race or with one ball and two bats. You could see if you can throw it and the other person catch it. I wonder if you could make up your own game using these. Could you set up goal posts or maybe even a bucket and scoop the balls up and place them in? Games like this are brilliant to practice turn taking and also to be a good winner or a good loser. All very important skills. Also included are two dancing ribbons. Pop some of your favourite music on and get dancing. It helps you move your bodies and raise your heartbeat to keep active in a fun way. Who said having a disco party wasn't a learning opportunity? There's also an emotion discussion ball. This could be used for PE drama or PSHE, personal, social and emotional health. When you catch it, find a face. Can you copy the face? Oh. Or can you name the emotion? Hmm, tired. Or can you remember a time when you last felt like this? 
and why do you think that was? Make sure the adults join in too for great role modelling. And some of them are rather silly. This is a great to help children understand and manage those big emotions. It's really tricky to have those conversations in the moment. So by talking about emotions throughout their day will help them during those tricky times. There's also some sensory bubbles. They smell amazing. They've got a lovely sweet scent and they're a great distraction if your child's having a bit of a tricky time. They're great fun to pop. Count as you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, we. What a load of things to help you get moving and learning.